Hello YouTube, this is iRizon, and today I've been looking at a lot of mods, and I want to mod Minecraft without the risk of losing anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made the iRizon's Ice World, the alpha version, and how I kept it by redirecting the app data folder and making your old batch file. So first, uh, what you really need to know, users, username, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft. You will need this folder, right? So you want to copy it. And you want to copy it to whatever folder you got. I've copied it to another hard drive. So here I've made a folder called Minecraft Modded. And I have the Minecraft.exe. This is the downloadable version of the game. Um, and this whole instruction set will be for Windows only. I'm not sure how you do this on Linux or Mac. So I'm sorry about that. I just have no experience in that area. Now first what you want to do, you have I have .minecraft here, exe, and this batch file which I created, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a new folder called bin. I'm going to create another new folder called data. There we go. And I'm going to put all the Minecraft stuff into data. So cut this and paste it. Then the Minecraft.exe, I'm actually going to rename this just for the heck of it. Minecraft modded. And I'm going to put this in the, the bin folder. Now here is my batch file. Now how you would make this right from the start is you say new text document and you would call it blah 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 dot batch file. B-A-T. Now just a quick note, ignore that little prompt. If you do need to uh, have extensions loaded, I'm going to press Alter F and bring up the menu here. I'm going to Folder Options, View, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. If that is clicked, unclick it. If it's clicked, we'll be hiding the stuff like batch files, text files, you know, stuff that Windows figures out. Oh, I know how to work this. You don't need to see the extension. You're going to want to see the extension just to rename this. Just the easiest way. There's another way to do it. Uh, and then once you, I have that text file, it'll be empty. I'm going to edit with Notepad here. I have Notepad plus plus, a little better format. Set space app data equals percent cd percent backslash data. Next line bin backslash Minecraft. And I've renamed it modded.exe. So there we go. I'm going to save this. Right, so now make sure your .minecraft folder is in the, the uh, data folder, and the bin folder has your exe file, and then I can run this and go. But first I'm just going to copy, paste shortcut, and I'll rename this Minecraft Modded. Then for properties, I'm just going to change the icon. Just for the hell of it. So I'm going to point it back to the CXE file and give it that little grass <laughs> grass block. So right, as soon as I click this, we should be up and loaded. You saw the bat data flash by. Log in. I'm now playing offline. I'm not entirely sure if this will even let me connect online or if the servers are down again. The servers may have a little bit of trouble. But with this method, I now should be able to do pretty much anything I want. Change the, you know, for mod files, you have to do a few things to get in the nitty gritty of it. Usually opening up the jar file, deleting a meta.inf folder or underscore inf. Uh, unless you're using a mod loader of some sort. Uh, there's been a few in the works now, but I'm going to be trying out mo creatures because I need mo creatures you know what I mean and uh, humans plus and some other things I've seen uh, pbat do pbat vg paper bat that guy's hilarious but anyway 
so that's my help to you. I hope you uh, found it useful, and um, I hope I can get this all sorted. And this is, uh, like I said, how I keep my old ice world intact. I don't even put the password in there. I'm in, I'm not entirely sure if the server really is down, but the main advantage of this too is, like I said, you will keep your old app data stuff intact. Now your saves are not going to sync between them. You'll have to manually copy your saves and all that, but for the rest of it, it all should work. Yeah, that's your cue, Minecraft, to uh, to to load up and not prove me wrong. Why, why aren't you loading in? All right, play offline. Ooh, look at that lag. Look at that chunky, chunky lag. And here we go. This is back to Minecraft Alpha. And the other one is the new beta. Alright, so exit again. Hope you found it useful, fun, whatever. Later.